How's it going everybody? This is James here back for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode we went ahead and rescued the Deku tree from having pimples all over his face and we got instructed that Makar has been um, held captive inside the Forsaken, the Forbidden Woods. So in this episode we're gonna go ahead and see if we can enter that dungeon after we get this Deku leaf that he's gonna try to provide for us. So let's go ahead and jump in here, jump up, and just be very careful because it is very, uh, you have very limited space to move, so you gotta make sure you get it in the right angle. And here we are, what do you guys say? Wow, you're quite good at that Mr. Knight, just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot, okay, just kind of giving us the tutorial on how to do that. And like I've told you before, if you see Link looking around, that's an indication for something. So let's go ahead and throw that up. And swing into this one. Careful, because you can overshoot that. Cool thing is you can also just position yourself while you're in it so you can get ready. And one more. And let's get our new item. The Deku Leaf. So what that does is it allows us to fly through the air just like the uh, Koroks do. But since we're a lot heavier than they are... Hold on, let's see what he has to say. Please, you must fly over there using your Deku Leaf. So, as I was saying before we got interrupted, was that yes, this allows us to fly. Let's go ahead and... If you go off that way, it, go it takes you to an optional area, so let's go ahead and avoid that for now. Let's just go ahead and start by going off over here, that handy dandy arrow. In the Wii U version, they also added that nice little detail on the bottom where you can see exactly where you're going to land. And then also, I, don't, I forgot to mention that the Deku Leaf also gave us a magic meter. So now we can be able to cut through the grass and find these magic pots to go ahead and replenish that. Because it does consume magic and as soon as it runs out, you will fall. What do you have to say? Congratulations, Swordman. It appears that you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. That eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makar is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over there into the entrance using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying through the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. So, as he was saying, of course, we need to go ahead and change the wind here. So that way we won't be blown in the wrong direction. First instance of a wind puzzle using this, which is very interesting. And I really love this mechanic that they did with it. So let's go ahead and do Southwest. And blow it towards that little pillar over there. Because that it looks too far for us to just jump straight from here and do that. And... Want to go ahead and wait for that little tornado there. Or a little cyclone. It's just because I still think that from over here to over here, even with the wind guiding us, won't be enough to make it there. So... And let's go ahead and use it. Would it have been enough? Oh, am I gonna miss it? Oh, I missed it, but I guess it was enough. That's good. <laughs> I thought it was, I don't know what I was worrying about. Let's go ahead and collect our magic. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and wait for that to come back over here. I don't wanna talk to you because it will stop the cyclone, I think. Yeah, it stops the cyclone. Sorry about that. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Catch the updraft. Kind of going over the, what I was talking about with the Cyclone. So let's just go ahead and wait just a tad bit for that. Probably ready. Let's go ahead and jump in the Cyclone. Oh, I forgot to change the wind. No. <laughs> Dang it. I will be back, guys. Sorry about that. Go ahead and catch the updraft. And it pushes us all the way up here. And there's going to be flying enemies, of course. They love to be jerks like that. So let's go ahead and avoid them. And let's drop down. OK. 
it. We made it. Let's avoid them. Okay, welcome to the Forbidden Woods, guys. This is our second dungeon. And quite an interesting one. It gets, starts getting a little bit more puzzle heavy and more uh, more intricate in that way. So looking forward to that. More green chews. Grab their jellies. Man. Perfect, there we go. So I Oh! So I guess I hit you, kill you, and then you hurt me, so. First instance right there of the pots. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second, but yeah, that's the another little entrance. Those teleportation pots there again. So, oh, he's getting dangerous. Why are you so hard? You're just regular choose. No, let's just get this before we die. <laughs> We got the map, which is the, honestly, I think the quickest map in, I think, any Zelda history. Ooh, just block off against you guys, and you all can die. Nope, 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 nope. And there we go. Now we are safe. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess not. There's one more left. Drop down, let's get your jelly. And good hiding. They're the most annoying ones out of all the chews, so. Let's go ahead and yeah. So here at the door, you'll notice that there's a thing on it, but every time you get close to it, you can't kill it with your sword. And you think, oh just chop that. But no, with that plant being in the middle, it will regrow. So what you're going to have to do is come over here, drop that, and you're going to have to throw it at the eye. Just like that. And it would kill it. Now the way's clear. What's going on over here? Gosh, I need to be more careful. Luckily, I still have that fairy, but what a waste. But in, oh, and another interesting tip is that if you jump in those uh, little plants that shoot you up, they replenish your magic as well. So that's always handy. Instead of always having to just cut the grass down and everything. So it's always good. And another interesting thing you can do with the leaf is use it as a way to clear leaves and blow in. And also help stun with the chew jellies. Here, so if you want to use a little combo there, it'd be great. So do that. Of course, it only works when they're like outside of their little chew, chew of habitat, whatever, whatever you want to consider their bottom half. Okay, so that's nothing here. I think there are some pile of leaves that if you blow on them, they will drop like fairies. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Let's go ahead and use that to heal us. Since we're in... Oh! And they do that too, so be careful of that. There we go. Perfect. Because in hero mode, unfortunately, we do not get any hearts, so... Glad to always find a fairy. Where's the next one? To the left. Yeah, you can already kind of start seeing where they're going to go with the the whole puzzle thing with the Deku leaf and everything here. So just go ahead and jump in. It'd be very jerkish if they just didn't give you magic every time you jumped into this and you always had to go down and cut the grass. We're not a lawn service. It's more choose. Good hiding. Oh, oh, don't push me. Careful of that bomb right there. So you're dead, you're dead. 
Easy peasy. And next time we can not miss here. Throw that right at you there. And it should be perfect. And now you gotta just blow the gust of wind at this one and it call us the little the little little elevator escalator, whatever. Let's 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 call it a pulley system. Okay. Zip line, I don't know what exactly those things are called. If you guys know, uh, comment, I guess. And uh, these are P-hats, so if you want to go ahead and use their hook, they give you a golden feather. So let's... I guess we can start collecting these now. And the only way to actually damage these guys is with the deck relief. So you gotta blow the a gust of wind at them for now. And then once they get like that, that's when you can hit them, because if you... If you try to hit them like how they are right now, they it will literally act like a shield. Okay, let's get you guys. Push you out of the way. Oh, of course. Just my luck. Get out of here. I wonder how fun it would be to just jump in a plant for it to spit you back out. I wonder how gross it would be. Just all get you all sticky. Okay. Let's call the system over here. Our fancy ride. And another thing is you don't exactly have to hit the systems to do that. You can just keep blowing the gust of wind and due to physics, it will push you back. So here comes a kind of jerkish little puzzle here. So go ahead and bring that here and drop that down. And be careful not to knock that off because you will need it. And did we make it back? We made it back. Ooh. Perfect. I thought I was going to lose it for a second. And if you notice the chest down there, let's oh, hang here and drop down. And perfect. Grab the ledge here. 20 rupees. Not bad, but it was just pointless. Perfect. And go through the door. And be careful running straight to that because they do have this little thing here. So just a heads up before you go running straight into that thing and it's an easy peasy room. Of course not, because they love to tease everyone here. So just go ahead and grab that, same, same. Just destroy those when you see those. And I think we're in one of the main hubs of the the, the dungeon here. So mm -hmm. now we just need to figure out how to traverse it. Alrighty, let's use our grappling hook. I love that they also use items from previous dungeons, which is, I think, really good design instead of just using it only for one dungeon and then uh, making it completely useless later. It just shows you how good design, how much uh, good designing that they put into these games. Let's go ahead and grab all these. Huh, that one's like in the wall. That's weird. That was, really, that was a really weird rupee. Okay. So as you can see, we gotta jump on here and go through there. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty. Go ahead and go through here. What do we got here? I don't know if y'all can hear that and see those. Um, can't quite remember the official name of these enemies. Um, I'll put it on screen now. Um, but yeah, just be careful with them. They don't harm you in any way. They're just more of a, an annoyance. Because they just make you heavier when they're on you. So it makes you impossible. It makes it impossible for you to run. And 10 rupees. What a waste to get in. 
And all you gotta do is just do a spin attack and it will knock them off, so... A little annoying, but... Hey, they're not the craziest thing in the world. I can jump over properly this time. And make it through here. Okay, so I think this, yes, this room is going to be the labyrinth-esque type room with this. So I want to go ahead and use this bomb to blow that side up. Because you can't run. Oh, you actually can't. I don't know why I put those blocks up. Let's go ahead and see what it has in here. And we got the compass. So now we can see where all the treasure and wherever all the rooms now. So that's handy. Throw the bomb there and blow that section up. Did I get it? And okay, I don't know. I thought I missed it. So. Go back around here. Careful with them because I think they hit you here in hero mode. They hit you for a whole heart, I think. I don't want to test it out because I don't want to. Especially now, I don't want to lose my health. Grab all those rupees. Because. Right here. And of course. Another dead end. Oh. Oh no, they hit you for half a heart, but still be careful with that. Oh. Can't heed my own warnings here. So now with that we came through. What was in this chest? And we got a small key. We would go ahead and need that for the other door that we saw there. And boom. There's a bunch of these pots here, so. Eh, don't really need to go through them too much. Just go ahead and get out of here. And the annoying thing is when you leave a room with these guys in it, they... Ah, spin attack. Come on. They always respawn. Oh, these guys weren't here before. Surprise attack there. Mm, let's go into that door over here. What's about behind door number two? More P hats and another syst pulley system here. Get you out of here. The annoying little thing about this room is they have the water to catch themselves, so you can't really um, go down and attack them too easily. So you just literally stun them for a little bit and it gets kind of annoying. Unless you let them come just straight to you at the little plots of land you have there. But I just avoid them. Oof. What are you? You're pretty big buddy. Get you out of here. Get out of here. Oh, that's gross. Don't poop on me. Get out of here. You did? Yeah. Ah, get off of me. Okay, there we go. Okay. Go ahead and jump in this and jump up. Oh, PS. Oh. Enemies love getting in my way and distracting me and, you know, getting in the way. Just being annoying. I want it dead. Boom. Style. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump in this and see what the upper floors have. Perfect. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay, that door is blocked off by two. Ah, quit aiming at them. Okay, just go in here. You know what happens when the door is locked behind us? It looks like the mid boss. Let's go ahead and take him down. It could be a little tricky because exactly for that reason he spawns those little things. This is I guess is the adult one as a but yeah, and then once you knock off the wings it just goes back to the ones like we saw outside. So I guess this is just the adult one with the wings now. Ah, they're pooping on me. Oh Yeah, just be careful with them. Not super hard, just kind of tricky if you're 
caught by all those things all at once and literally swoops down on you again and again and again and being annoying. So we just need to be careful here. Hopefully I can find another fairy to replenish health here again. And if I can finally open this chest after I don't know how many failures of opening chests. And we got the boomerang. Very, very helpful item here. Because now you can target up to five objects and have the boomerang go to it. So, let's go ahead and test it real quick. And there. All you have to do is just aim at it, throw it, and it hits the targets in the order that you select them. Okay, so now that we got that open, guys, with a very tired Link right here in front of us, we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue through the Forbidden Woods and see if we can save Makar. Go ahead and thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.